What's up guys, welcome to the seventh video of the Golang and React full stack to do project application. So in this uh, video, we're going to create the, the create task and the task complete functions. For the task complete functions, we'll have to accept w comma r and w is of type http.response writer and r http.request. Sorry. So for task complete for uh, sorry for create task what we'll do is uh, we'll say w dot header dot set first we'll set the context type then we'll set the access control sorry and allow origin then we'll set um, allow methods access control allow methods and then we'll have our headers so we'll say access control allow headers so context type in our case will be application slash form URL encoded we want to allow origin uh, of request from anywhere so we'll use star this uh, request the create task will be a post request so we'll say post method use the post method here and allow headers headers so we'll use content type for allow headers And then we'll say where task models dot to do list. So for models in models you have to list. That's what you're accessing here. And you're saying that create something called as task, which is a variable, which will be of type to do list, which is your own struct that you have defined here. Then you'll say JSON dot new recorder r dot body so you'll send the task as a request as a post request to this function and you will use the new decoder function from the json package to decode whatever is the whatever json is there in r dot body we'll decode it to task so we'll use task to decode it so basically we'll get all the data which was in json and bson in uh, this format which we require to be used with golang and then we can say insert one task insert the task and we'll say json dot new encoder w dot encode task Okay, so we'll encode it back again. Now, we need to work with task complete function, which is of put uh, method. You can copy and paste all of this and just change this to put. But if you're not uh, somebody who's experienced with Golang, I would suggest don't copy and paste type along with me. I'm going to type everything from scratch so that, you know, uh, the more you type in Golang, the more used to you get with the syntax and the better and faster you learn. All right. So we'll say header dot set uh, content type, context type, sorry. Uh, 
and then we'll say w dot header dot set access control allow origin w dot header dot set access control allow methods w dot header dot set access control allow headers here we'll say application slash x w dot slash dot dash form dash url encoded it's the same thing as before here again we'll not put any restrictions we'll say that the request can originate from anywhere we'll use the put method here we'll use content type all right and then we'll say max dot vars r so we're using the max package to access the parameters and we're capturing that in a variable called params because we need uh, the ID which will be passed as a params to this function and here we'll say task complete params ID so for, from the parents we'll just access the ID and we'll pass it to a function called task complete and then we'll say JSON dot new encoder w dot encode params ID all right so this means that we'll have um, a function called task complete this function so let's just create the outline for that function at least task complete which takes a task and has a function definition all right and here we had our get all tasks function and here there's another function that's being called called get all tasks so why not uh, define that function as well so we'll say func get all tasks and it will have some function definition so now we have to work on all these functions like undo task, delete task, delete all tasks and these two functions as well and we've reached quite far we have completed our get all tasks and create task and task complete and uh, as well as create db instance and load the environment functions so these are the ones that are remaining now and what i'll do is i'll keep this video short so that um, you know you get enough time between each of these videos so that you can practice and then uh, if you have any issues still here understanding any issues you can let me know so i'm trying to keep this as beginner friendly as possible trying to explain every single line all right and um, do subscribe to this channel if you want to be updated on when the next video of this series comes out and thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next episode.